Hey guys, today is Tuesday, April 30th. It's been 24 days now since I started this second fertilizer experiment here on the hydroponic lettuce and I pretty much seen enough. I'll put a link down below to the first part of this, how I got it started and everything, but right now I've seen enough to be able to make a pretty good decision on which way I need to go from here. I'm going to show you a picture here in just a minute that was taken on April 20th and everything was lined up, growing properly, everything looked absolutely perfect and then something happened. But take a look at this picture right here from April 20th and look how neat and symmetrical everything seemed to be. Let me line the camera back up from the opposite end again and you can compare that picture from April 20th to what it is right now. It's a big difference. When you compare this perspective to the picture from April 20th, you can see a tremendous amount of growth in the first three boxes and then far in the distance you see something that doesn't look right. That's the box that had the Fox Farm stuff in it and for whatever reason after about two weeks or so the plants just quit. The, uh, the red stuff looked really good, the green looks horrible. I'm not exactly sure what went wrong, but uh, I think I have an idea. What I'm going to do is go down the row here from the good, the bad, into the ugly. And I'm going to start right here with the very good. This is the first box using the cracky method that I had an air pump and air stones running inside of it. A lot of people had suggested that, hey, look, when you do hydroponics, you need to make sure you aerate the water. That's not necessarily the case with what Mr. Cracky was doing. He found out that if you did not have electricity and you didn't want to spend the money on pumps, that you could grow some very good vegetables. Whether it be tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, you could grow all of those things very well without having an air pump. However, if you do happen to have an air pump and you would like to do this, you can grow some killer lettuce. I mean, this stuff right here is 24 days from the time that I put it in the uh, box here and it is absolutely beautiful. To give you a perspective right here, that's the size of my hand. You can see how big and leafy everything is. These are some beautiful, healthy plants. This is a little bit deceptive because there's actually two plants in here. Also, pay attention to the color. This is a red cross, and in the back is magenta, and neither one of these have a great deal of red in them. However, they still are some absolutely beautiful looking lettuce, and these guys up here, perfect. Can't ask for anything better than that. Looking up under here at the roots, you can see some nice masses of roots up under there. Looking really good. Up next is the box that has the regular uh, cracky method to it. No aeration, no bubble stones, anything like that in there. And still some very good lettuce in this box. From a standpoint of not having to use electricity and being able to grow a good decent product, this is a very good method right here that anybody could do. This one looks a little bit small right here. My wife came out yesterday. She needed some lettuce for some uh, garnish and stuff to take to somebody and come out here and pick the biggest leaves around the side. But also you can see a difference in the redness compared to the first box. These have a lot more red in them. Looking up under here at the roots. Very nice, clean, healthy looking roots. Doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Looking at the third box here. This is the hobby formula from ChemGrow out in Colorado. This is their 10822, the product that you just mix a little bit of uh, Epsom salt with it and it's, you got a nice complete fertilizer. We're doing Mr. Cracky's method in this box as well, no aeration whatsoever. And I say Mr. Cracky because he's the guy whose name was on all the papers that I read. If anybody else was involved in it, you know, my apologies to you or wherever you may happen to be, but I call it Mr. Cracky and give him credit for it because he was the, his name was at the end of all those writings that I read about it. Again, these are not quite as big as that first box that had the aeration to it, but still very good looking heads of lettuce. You don't have to have electricity to be able to grow food around your place. Looking at the roots on this one, see how clean white they are, that's exactly what you want to see. When you see any kind of brown or gunky to it, you've got a problem. With this method right here, you never have to worry about algae because the styrofoam covers all of the water surface area. You don't have to worry about algae in the water and you don't have to worry about algae getting all on the side like you do with a, a true floating raft method. So we're going to take the first three boxes and call them excellent, 
very good very good and we're going to get down to this one and just call this the bad and the ugly i have no idea what went wrong with this box but i think it has something to do with magnesium i'm not sure i'll talk about that again in a few minutes but looking at them you can see the leaves are very yellow with the exception of the red the red cross is very red lots of color in it and i don't understand how a lettuce can turn yellow pale green and then be another variety in the same box can be so vibrant and have so much color in it i'm no expert on this stuff so maybe somebody else can help me out with that these guys look really good and for whatever reason they just like they just quit they just rolled over and decided to play dead i know the fox farm product is a very good fertilizer i have plenty of confidence in it but i've got to figure out do i need to add more than what they suggested in here or add something else to it and looking at the color this is beautiful this red cross very beautiful deep red i really like that more so than the uh pale red that was in the other three boxes but you can't eat the color you got to eat the lettuce so being beautiful and red and small uh, i think i'm going to take the lighter red and a much bigger head of lettuce and these guys right here very similar actually to what the miracle grow did and the uh the triple 20 that i was using and that they just really turned really yellow but they did take off right at the first and, and do pretty good and then for whatever reason they just stopped and went downhill when you take a look at the roots up under here remember what i just said about anything brown see these kind of brownish looking roots they're not real gunky but they are not the clean pristine healthy white stuff that the first three boxes that's an indication right there that something is not going right all right, let's talk about this thing for a few minutes and try to figure out what went wrong. Best I can tell, the single common denominator in these first three boxes is the Epsom salt. All three formulas or all three boxes had Epsom salt added to them. On this bottle of Fox Farm Grow Big, nowhere does it say anything about adding Epsom salt. So I went by their instructions. I have seen a number of videos where people were mixing up their hydroponic solutions and most of the guys like to use cow mag. They add the calcium and magnesium that way. And this stuff over here, the water soluble stuff, I add Epsom salt. I think the Fox Farm product would have benefited from some Epsom salt. I may do another test just to try it out again and see if that is what made the difference because I really would like to know what happened in the last eight days for this box to basically shut down. This is only after 24 days. If this stuff kept growing another week or so, it might be out here this big. You just never know. But the fact is, the air pumps did help this situation as you would expect, providing the additional oxygen and aeration worked out extremely well. Again, it's not mandatory. You can still grow some absolutely beautiful lettuce without it, but if you want to, uh, put them air pumps in there and put this stuff on a do it a crack key on steroids and see what you come up with I think you'll be very pleased with the results So to sum this up real quick the first three boxes with the 41838 the master blend stuff and Kim grows a 10822 Did extremely well that hobby formula had no problems with it at all and the third box that had the Fox farm grow big right here I believe that fertilizer could benefit from adding the Epsom salt to it. I really do. And I may start some more seeds and uh, do another test. I'll have to think about the temperatures and starting to heat up in here. But uh, I believe this is a good product. I think it just needs something else to add it to it to make it comparable to everything else here. One more thing I want to get to in an upcoming video because I get so many questions about it now is the safety, uh, how safe is this water soluble fertilizer the hydroponic stuff is the food fit for people is there any kind of toxicity to it anything like that i don't know why people ask me that question but they do and i will be addressing that in an upcoming video in depth and explaining exactly what you need to know but right now i want to ask you this question in the last 50 years what has changed in food production in the united states and around the world is it the seeds the herbicides, the pesticides, the way the food is packaged and processed in the grocery stores, or is it the fertilizer? Think about that, and you, once, once you realize exactly what has changed, you'll have your answer. So y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining, or just downright funny, 
don't forget to subscribe.